What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here in front of me I have the brand new Alltrack 4000 suspension system from More Ride. Um, supposedly gives 4 inches of travel on the axles as opposed to the CRE 3000's 3 inches of travel, which is my current setup. And they're pretty beefy and supposedly they're going to give an inch of ride height. Well, I'm assuming they're going to give an inch of ride height, but we're going to be verifying that today by taking some measurements before and after. I also think they might give um, a little bit more of axle spacing, so I'm going to take measurements on that as well. And while I'm under there putting these on, I'm going to throw on my new shocks, but these aren't what the video is about. So anyways, shout out to Tweety's RV. They answered all my questions when I ordered these. They were really, really friendly people, and they're $25 cheaper on their website than More Rides, and these shipped from More Ride. So... Head on over to Tweety's. I'm not getting paid to say that, but they were awesome. Shout out to those guys. And these, this was not a sponsorship. I bought these. They weren't sent to me. Let's put them on the rig. All right, to make this a fair measurement, I pulled my jacks up. I got all the rear weight of the trailer sitting on the tires. And I'm going to be measuring from the bottom of this straight down to the ground. And from here over to here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with the Cree 3000 installed and then swap them out and take more measurements. All right, so from the center of the cap to the center of the cap here, looking at about 38 and a half inches. And from here, you're looking at about 25 and an eighth from the ground for me. So let's go ahead and get these 4000s put in and check the results. I know, I know, that's a lot of grease, but that's okay. Well, it is the next day, and uh, I'm just going to be an honest YouTuber and tell you that wasn't as easy as I had anticipated it to be. Um, I really struggled getting one bolt out for like an hour, hour and a half. I mean, it's a good testament on more rides suspension upgrade because I installed it correctly and I could not get that bolt out it was bit into the shackle very well so not complaining um, it was just really hard to get out but good job Moy Ride on making a system that is very safe and effective um, so since I'm not gonna show you guys the whole install because I got frustrated my GoPro died I am going to show you guys this clip I did get um, of me struggling to get this bolt out. And it's just a short time lapse. The GoPro falls a few times off the tire just from uh, vibrations. And so enjoy this. And then after that, we'll get into the differences in measurements. guys so real quick I wanted to show you the reason I did this suspension upgrade slash replacement uh, that weld is broke right there don't judge me from all the grease but uh, I saw that when I did my leaf springs in the last video and 
knew I needed to replace this or get it re-welded. But I decided to go big or go home for you guys. And they just happened to come out with this new suspension. So got it through on there um, for that reason right there. All right, guys, using the same method as earlier, we're sitting at 38 and three quarter. And using the same method as earlier, we're sitting right at about 25 and a half on the bottom of the I-beam. All right, so I have a few tips for you guys that are gonna be doing this yourselves. Tip number one, don't do what I did and reuse the bolts buy new bolts make sure you have the new bolts on hand before you do this project i destroyed the tip of this bolt and ended up having to cut the tip of it off with a sawzall uh, in order to get an old nut to re-thread because i destroyed the new nut but since i used my old bolts i used thread locker on all of the nuts um and they seem to be good they're torqued down they're pulled into the shackles correctly and they're not coming out so um, that's tip number one. Tip number two, get you a half inch impact and on the opposite side, all the bolts look like this. This is the back of the bolt. Go forward and back after you loosen your front bolts or your front nuts. After you loosen the nuts, go forward and backward on the main bolt in, in the back or whichever side it is to kind of loosen those teeth up from inside the shackle. Tip number three I have, once you start trying to beat on these, if you're going to reuse them, Put on a disposable nut. I just happened to have this from when I did my leaf springs and beat the tar out of the nut, not the end of the bolt, so that that don't happen. This bolt, I had the nut on, no problems. That bolt had the nut on, no problems. Over there, had the nut on all of those, no problems. I just beat the tar out of it. But, like I said, get new bolts. Um, that's that's the main thing then you ain't got to worry about <laughs> tearing things up like i did uh but yeah that basically wraps this video up guys i'm gonna try to hang the gopro down here so and get some suspension movement on the next video and so if you want to see that stay tuned make sure you subscribe and like this video i think this is going to be the first all track 4000 suspension video out there and i'm very proud of that so please hit that like button if you made it this far and until next time big country out